Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got another deck profile update for you guys today. This is my Trickstar deck for the April 2019 format. Like before, I really don't think there's going to be anything that needs to be addressed with this deck. I don't think there's anything ban worthy or even going to be limited at this point. So I figured why not and just play uh, Trickstars. In fact, I actually just took this to my locals. Uh, I scored a uh, third place, so I was pretty happy with that. Sadly, it was only top two because there wasn't too many people, but uh, my deck performed. It showed really good results. Um, my matchups were... Um, I actually went up against two true, true Draco players. There was actually four Draco players for some reason. I went up against Subterra Guru Control, and lastly, I actually had a mirror match. So, But, yeah, I lost to one Draco player, but I managed to win the others. So... Yeah, this is a great deck. Really fun. Um, even though Blue Ice was my first deck, this was my first real competitive deck, and this is what got me into competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! So, let me just show you guys what I got this time around. Alright, so starting off, going to be playing three copies of Trickstar Candina. This is your Stratos. Searches out everything you need, uh, whether it be your Trickstar Spells or Traps or one of your monsters. This She's your go-to starter. Next up, two, uh, I'm sorry, not two, but three copies of Trickstar Licorice. Uh, definitely a great card. Burns your opponent for every time he adds cards to, from his deck to his hand. You can also reveal the special hit by bouncing back one Trickstar monster that you already control. So it's a really good card. And the best part about it is, like, let's say you had two in hand, you only, and you had the one Candina, you can actually just target the one can Candina and special summon both Trickstar Licorice. Uh, next, two copies of Trickstar Corabane. Now this card's amazing. It's a free uh, summon. It's a 2k body. And it also has, acts as an honest. So it just basically doubles the attack strength of your Trickstar monsters. And the fact that it's basically a Cyber Dragon for Trickstars is an understatement. So you could just really like extend. You know, it's like it's just she just does so much for you. And lastly, one copy of Trickstar Lily Bell. I was actually opting to bump this up to two. Just because I run Pot of Desires. And I might actually go ahead and do that. Just run two copies of Lily Bell. But for now... I'm still sticking to one and just see how just see how things go from here. Alright, next up. <clears throat> three copies of Cyber Dragon. Uh definitely good, especially now because the fact is now that Cyber Dragon Natster is out, Cyber Dragons will definitely be seeing more competitive play even more than it already had. And with Cyber Dragon, you can basically just steal all machine monsters and just go into like Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon and just go for an easy OTK. Also, it's a good way to just get spot removal with Contact Fusion for Mega Fleet Dragon. Uh, next up, two copies of Eater Millions. I was running this at three, but three kind of got bricky, so I think two is just fine. Plus, half the time, I don't want to banish my entire extra deck, so I just got to be able to, like, uh, flex around with it. So that's why I'm only playing two copies of Eater Millions. Uh, I'm playing, uh, I think, eight hand trips? Yeah. So starting off with... Uh, Three Ash Blossoms, standard. Uh, definitely one of the best staples right now. Just, you know, stun your opponent for any opening plays he may have or any important searches he may need, so definitely want to stop him. And just stop your opponent entirely from adding cards from deck to hand. Drawing Lockbird is definitely the best way to go. Uh, two copies of Feg Veiler. You know, it's just impermanent. It's just cheaper. But, you know, if you haven't got, if you have got dual power and you manage to pull those impermanences, hey, definitely run those. And that's pretty much it for my monsters. All right, for now, for spells and traps, and you're not, you're, you guys are really gonna enjoy this. But starting off, playing three copies of Light Stage searches out your Trickstar monsters. Plus, it can lock down back row. So, and it actually came in handy. The second effect really came in handy quite a lot this uh, this tournament. So, yeah. Two terraforming definitely want to search it out. Three called by the grave. You don't want to get stopped by like any hand traps. So, you definitely want to keep your Push your place forward and just make sure you can get through just fine. Uh, two Pot of Desires. This card came out a lot. like, And it's really helped me out. It helped me draw into two two cards that I need. And didn't really banish anything that was like that was going to affect me too badly. Or any losses that that I couldn't afford to have. So yeah, Pot of Desires just came into clutch. One scapegoat. Didn't come up at all. But you know, you still want to run at least one. Just so, just so you know, whenever you see it, you see it. One Super Poly. Sadly, this never came up either, mainly because I couldn't really use it against any of my deck matchups. So, uh, Super Poly didn't do much, but any other matchup like Danger Thunder or, uh, Nine, or yeah, uh, Danger Orcus, th this card would have helped, but sadly, just never really came through. 
but still a good option to run. And it's just a spicy tech option. Uh, three reincarnation and three grand, of Hor grand horn of heaven. This also never came up because none of the matchups used their extra deck. So grand horn of heaven didn't really do much for me. But in theory, the whole point of him of this card is just that whenever your opponent summons a monster from the extra deck, you play this, they draw one card, they lose their main phase, force into their battle phase, and if they have no monsters, they go to main phase two, they try again. If you happen to have another one, play it again, and their turn automatically comes to an end. And it just goes really well in tangent with Trickstar Licorice, so that's why I decided to run it, but once again, this card never came up, so didn't really get to bring out its full potential. So, But overall, it's still, it's still uh, a good option. Alright, so moving on to the extra deck. I got... Trickstar Holly Angel, and I got the new alternate artwork. I really love with this card, how they designed it. It's so, it's just great. Just a standard Link 2. Uh, two Trickstar Divaritas, just burn your opponent every time he summons a monster, and it also burns your opponent whenever it's summoned. Um, Trickstar Crimson Heart, which is basically one day of peace, but it also helps you replenish your life points. Nightmare Phoenix and Unicorn, you know, always gotta have like some spot removal. Uh, one Link Rebo. I also got the new uh, Ultra Rare reprint, and hopefully by tomorrow I can actually uh, get me a uh, box of Dual Power, and I'll see if I can do a video for you guys. One Link Spider, Mrs. Radiant, and then Girasu, you know, non-targeting Spark Removal comes in handy. This card actually helped me out against one of my Draco matchups, uh, Trisbana, and it actually just helped me win the duel, so... Uh, well, actually, I tried to bring it out, but unfortunately, <sighs> got me with that uh, Monarchs Erupt. But one of my other matchups, it actually did help out. And of course, Borlo Dragon. Didn't get the alternate artwork yet, but if I pull one, you know, maybe I'll run it in here. But for now, I still prefer the secret. Uh, to go with my Cyber Dragons, of course, you're going to be playing Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon and Fortress Dragon. Like I said, Cyber Dragons, they're going to start seeing some competitive play once again you definitely need these cards if you're going to be playing cyber dragon in the main deck and for super poly targets i got star and venom fusion dragon and violet chimera you know since salamangrade is still highly represented you definitely want to play this in your in your extra deck at least and of course with the eater of millions you know if these cards if you know your uh, your matchup then you could just banish these cards of course uh moving on to the side Going with the standard Wing Dragon Raw Sphere Mode. This got reprinted, thankfully, so everyone can have access to this card. It's really strong in this format. Uh, three Panker Tops. I actually cited this card in a lot this tournament because, again, Draco's, uh, Subterra Groove Control, even a Trickstar Matchup. It just, I just needed it. Uh, three Mind Control. Never really had to cite it in, but, you know, it's there whenever you need it. Uh, I did see Twin Sisters a couple times, so that really helped. This card really came up a lot, and I, I honestly, I think this deck can main, get away with main decking it. Red Reboot. I actually, this card won me a lot of duels. Sadly, I'm on uh, one of my Draco matchup, the one I lost to, I made the mistake of setting them. I should have kept them in hand, because then I could have won, but I didn't think that went through, So, but that was my mistake. Either way, I still got third place, so I'm pretty happy with that. So anyway, I felt like these were the best choices to go with, and yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll catch you guys again on the next video.